Okay, well today we are at the Magical Goodwill. You know that one. Um, we have had very, very good luck here all three times that we have been here. So I figure we can have good luck this time, right? Well, we're about to find out. We're going to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. And I have intel that they are restocking because Dagny's already here. So let's head in and see what we can find. Here we go. Well, before I get started with this video, I owe a huge thanks to my viewer and new friend Peter for helping me record cover this footage after an SD card malfunction. So thank you, Peter. This was one of the first things I noticed on the shelves and it was obviously an art pottery fish. I believe it was just a decorative piece and I don't think that it was anything special. So I did leave it there. I also noticed this little guy. It was Cook's Tools, uh, 199 Little garlic bulb there. He was pretty cute. Unfortunately, these chickens all had broken necks. It was a little sad. And this teapot was missing its lid. I mean, I feel like there's a conspiracy going on. There, there it has to be. <laughs> Those were plastic. I expected them to be ceramic. They were plastic. Now, I did pick this up because I loved the shape of it. And it was $1.99, you can see it is marked there on the back, it is vintage. And the gold and the cream color, it was very elegant. And so I did stick that in my cart. I don't like having regrets when I go for Goodwill. And with the prices that they have, I mean, no regrets. This little mug was adorable, it was $2.99, it was obviously modern. Succulents like a whole bunch of succulents on a canvas. This was probably uh, sold by Target or some other big store, but it was $2.99 and you guys know that I have a thing for succulents. I only have three, but that seems to be my limit. I feel like any more than three and I would probably kill them. But I like succulents and so I did buy that for myself. This was some old restaurant wear. It was marked on the bottom. I don't always pick up restaurant wear, but I liked the design of these. And so for $4.99, I did grab them. I might regret it. I found these little candlestick holders on the shelf. And I'm not familiar with these, but I liked the shape of them. They very well could be modern, but they were two little stars and they were two various sizes. And I did decide to grab these for $1.99 and $2.99 and figure them out later. Now, when I set those in the cart, you can see there's some more stuff there at the bottom. And that was stuff that Dagny had found since she got there earlier than me that she thought that I would like. And so she passed it off to me when I first got there. But unfortunately, the clip was lost and could not be recovered from the SD card. Now, I found this piece, and it's just a decorative buffalo or bison, and it was $1.99. It was very crude, and I liked it, so I grabbed it. This basket was brass, and I liked it. I mean, I'm embracing the brass, and, and sometimes I really don't feel it, but I liked that basket. It was very heavy. Now, that one I was feeling. Now there was some artwork here and I did decide to take a closer look at this tribal artwork. We had a very close friend who was from Kenya and um, so I, the African art really appeals to me for some reason. And I liked this piece and it was signed on the bottom. You can see that it is $10, but it is signed and numbered and it's a Turkana girl. Now I did look up this tribe and they have the most beautiful, colorful layered necklaces. And so I'm not familiar with the artist, but I figured I would do a little research and a brief look up. I could not find anything. This was interesting. I think they wanted 20 or $25 for this. And this is not something that I would really be able to ship and I don't think it's really the right fit for our booth so I did pass on that and unfortunately this had damage on it because it was absolutely a beautiful piece. Now you can see these topiaries at $4.99. Um, there was another topiary piece here the other day and so I was hoping to reunite them. 
I found this bowl and I liked the color scheme of it. I liked the blue and the whites and it was marked on the bottom with what looked like an antique marking. And so I was a little hesitant at $6.99, but I did end up grabbing that. Dagny found that really cool globe sugar, but I think she left it behind. There's the topiary. See, it's right there, and it's actually hanging off the shelf dangerously, so I did kind of rearrange there a little bit, and I reunited the two topiary pieces so that they were together on the shelf. There was a railroad piece here. It was a print, but you can see there's damage there where moisture has gotten into the frame. That was a neat little dish that Dagny found, and there was a core of an apple on it and a missing lid of a teapot. I did notice this lucite frame here on the shelf, specifically the squirrel there within the lucite frame. This frame is made by Sobril and you can see some of the jewelry comps there on the left hand side of your screen. The jewelry sells really well and so I was excited about the frame. Unfortunately, I did realize at checkout that there was a crack in the frame so I ended up leaving it behind. But the frames usually sell for about $25 to $30, so it really wasn't the end of the world. I wasn't terribly disappointed. Dagny found this framed stitchery, and uh, she really liked it. And she was trying to talk me into buying it. And she's like, well, you can take it out of the frame. And I just kind of looked at her, and I said, well, you could take it out of the frame. And so she actually, in trying to talk me into buying it, talked herself into buying it. So she ended up buying this. And you can actually find it in her eBay shop, which I've linked down in the description under Shop with Our Friends. But it was, it was a really nice piece. And just to think of all of the time spent stitching it. And I loved the subject matter of Grandma. And grandchildren. It was just, I liked it. There was a little dish here for 99 cents and there was probably a little bit of wiggle room with the resale value, but um, I have a lot of inventory right now, so I just, I decided to leave that. This was a really neat set and I was a little tempted, but I figured what would I do with this besides resell it? I would not keep it and for resale It would be just kind of an awkward thing to resell and ship on eBay And it wouldn't really be the right fit for our booth So I did end up leaving it and a few moments later a woman came by and scooped it up I found this Wedgwood cup and saucer and unfortunately uh, when we went to list it, we did notice that there was a crack on it, um, but it was $4.99. I did pay that for it without noticing the crack, so that was unfortunate, but it is a Queensware piece. The Queensware is the Wedgwood with that shininess to it. A lot of the times you see the satin finish, but this is the Queensware, and uh, I we, we do pretty well with the Queensware, so I usually grab it when I find it, but unfortunately with that piece, it was it was not a good decision. Now then I found this, and this was interesting, and I really liked this jar. It was marked on the bottom Avis, and I tried looking it up, and I could not find a an, an pottery by Avis, but I loved that turquoise color in combination with that metallic. It was just absolutely beautiful, and it was $4.99. And so I did take a look inside, and the inside is glazed, but um, it was... It was a really nice, I, I bought it. <laughs> if, you, if you can't tell, I'm like, I like it. I bought it. And um, I, li I just liked the glaze a lot. Now on pieces like this, I don't really know the resale value because they are art pottery. I just kind of go with my guts thinking, oh, well, this is a nice piece of art pottery. I'm sure that I can get more than $4.99 for it. And then I just see what happens. It's kind of a fun guessing game. This was interesting, and we weren't really sure exactly what it was. We assumed that it was ashtrays, but these little cherub babies were holding up these glass dishes. It was, it was definitely interesting. It had this filigree on the bottom, and I tried to convince Dagny to take it because she had spotted it first, but it was just too weird for her, is what she said. And I said, okay, well, if it's too weird for you, I will... 
I will accept the challenge. And so I did end up taking this with me for $3.99. Now, Dagny found this at the end of the shelf that they had just put out. And it was a nice little footed bowl with what appeared to be matching vases. They weren't matching exactly, but it was a nice little set. The gold on them was very vibrant and bright, and both of the vases were 99 cents each, and they had leaf designs, which kind of pulled it all together. So she did end up buying those. I noticed this little figurine back here, and I don't typically buy a lot of figurines, but it is Vilroy and Bosch. I was recently corrected in my pronunciation. So I did look this up with Dagny's help. She's a lot quicker at looking things up than I am. Um, I'm really slow. But, but uh, we did look this up. And it sells between $10 and $15. So there just wasn't a whole lot of resale value there. And I left it behind. The teacup just was not the greatest there was a spider in the vase. And I think that the spider came free with the vase if you were interested in it. I was not interested in either the vase or the spider. I decided to look at the design of these two glass plates here. And I wasn't quite sure what this was. It was a scooper of some sort. For scooping, maybe. Or maybe it was just a decorative scooper. I'm not exactly sure. I looked at this the last time we were there. Uh, it was marked cold cream or something like that. Now I did come across this bird and this was the bird that I left behind the last time when I cleared the shelf of all of the other birds. And I was feeling a little guilty about it and the fact that he was still just hanging there by himself. So I did grab the Lefton bird this time around. He is a goldfinch and um, I decided to take pity on him. He does have a resale value. I was just more fixated on all of the fine porcelain birds and the left end kind of got cast aside. This cabinet down here I was interested in as far as using as a fixture in one of our booths. Unfortunately, the handles were broken so it didn't open very easily. I know those could easily be replaced but it's just not something that I really wanted to, to mess with. Got some milk glass there, a little creamer. It was marked on the bottom, but I just, I have enough single creamers at the moment. Little cat dish there, modern as well. Now I did decide to look a little bit closer on the shelves. And I noticed this box with the glass on the sides. I am not pegging this for being very old, but it was very pretty. And so that was my reasoning for grabbing this. It was $1.99 and I loved the floral designs on the side and the way it just kind of catches the light. So I grabbed that little box and I did not miss the collies. Don't worry. I came back for those. Uh, unfortunately, one did have some damage to its nose. However, the other one was in fairly good condition. So I figured it would be more like selling the one and then the second is just a bonus. Um, but you can see this guy just has a little bit of damage on the nose. But they were $3.99 for the set. And I do really like the Collies. Um, they were made of chalkware. So they are heavy and they chip very easily. That's the one thing about chalkware is it chips real easy. The turkey platter is still there. And you can see I'm kind of leafing through the rest of the artwork. I noticed this candlestick back here and I wouldn't normally pick these up, but now I'm just questioning whether everything is Mackenzie Childs because I I'm just, I've never held it, so I'm just not sure about it. And I decided I will check this. This might be it. It was not, obviously. This was a nice hand-painted plate. It was $19.65 for $2.99, and when I find hand-painted porcelain, I usually prefer it to be from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. That's, that's mostly just my own preference. That's 
that's a thing for me and not necessarily everyone else. Um, but I did pass on that, even though it was very pretty. Tacti found this adorable little baby fox ashtray for 99 cents and it matched her shirt. Will you look at that? See, so yeah, my cart filled up pretty quickly. I've got another teapot here. This one actually has the lid, but the bottom I wasn't all that impressed with. Granted, I'm not the best with teapots, so. This turkey basket, I figured I would grab this and hold on to it until next year. I still look at holiday stuff throughout the year, but I usually hold on to it until the time is right. Now, this item in the box caught my eye, and I decided to pull this out and take a closer look at it. It was an ice bucket, and it looked to be of good quality, but it was etched and it was personalized. So after struggling to get it out of the box, you can see there, I had no idea what the company on it actually was. And I decided, I'm sure a lot of people don't know what that company is, so I'm probably going to pass on this. And that was a cigar box. I was hoping there was something inside the cigar box, but it was empty. Ah, the cast iron. I told you I would look closer at it, and I did. I did look closer at it. It was Pioneer Woman. Maybe not that one. The other one was. I, was, I wasn't sure about that one. This one was Pioneer Woman. And I knew from my last look at um, Cast Iron that everyone told me that was not a brand to be on the lookout for. Now Dagny was trying to get me to guess what this pan was for, and it had something to do with apples. I had no idea. There were some little hooks here. I guess they're hooks. Little hooks. And they were hand painted, it looked like. But I wasn't sure about those. Fault scrap, anyone? That's right. It got me again. It gets me all the time. I don't hate false graph. I, I think I feel like I have to say that every time I turn it away. Now I did come across this handleless mug again for one ninety nine, and I had left this behind the last time. And this time I decided I'm just gonna grab it. I love the way it fits in my hand. Uh, I'm not gonna keep it, but it was. It's just a nice mug, and so I had to buy it this time. Dagny had spotted something and went running for it, but it turned out it was not what she was looking for. Now I found this, and this was super exciting because it was heavy, and I opened it up, and it was full of those Monster High dolls, and I thought, you know, I could grab this for Juliet, but Juliet really isn't all that into dolls, and Dagny was so excited because Jenny is really into Monster High dolls, and I said, well, here you go. You take this then. And so she ended up uh, texting a picture to her daughter, and her daughter was so excited. So um, she got an entire casket. I guess this is supposed to be shaped like a casket. An entire casket of Monster High dolls for $9.99. And they do have a good resale value, at least. Um, I know the one doll with the really cool hair, the one on top, she sells for, I believe, Dagny looked her up, and it was $15 to $25. So there's resale value there, but of course, I don't think Jenny is ever going to let those go. But they were really neat. That one was our favorite. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Now, I found this entire tote full of Shopkins, and I feel like Juliet could get a lot more fun out of the Shopkins than she would the Monster High dolls. And down in the bottom, there were these two tins, and so we were debating whether or not there were actual Shopkins in the tins. 
And so Dagny was working on trying to figure that out, and I went around the corner to see what else there was. And there wasn't a whole lot. But I did end up buying the entire tote of Shopkins, and Juliet has already found them and was super excited for them. And so we are keeping those over at the shop for her to play with when she is at the shop because Shopkins are a lot safer than in a giant safe. So here's to Shopkins. This was cute and I considered grabbing it for Juliet, but I don't think she's that age yet where she can crochet. Although I would be really excited if she started crocheting. I'm not going to lie. One of the ladies stuck this on the shelf as we were leaving and walking by, and I thought, I kind of like that basket. I like the, the lacquer look to it. I don't know. And uh, so I did decide to grab this basket. All right, I am determined now to figure out if there are Shopkins in the bottom of here without cutting myself on my knife. Ooh, it's a little scary. You can tell I'm really good at using a knife. You know what? I'm going to close that in a minute. I'm going to put it right here for now. I don't know. I need to cut more. Oh. Is that one? Mm -hmm. There we go. I say there are. You think they're in there? Mm -hmm. You think they're in the bottom? That one does not have any in there. Jenny doesn't want them? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thank you. Thank there we go. Now she can have all these nice places to store them so she doesn't lose right. them. All right, well our total spend there was $113, but we got some really fun Shopkins. <laughs> I think we got some really good stuff today. I mean, there wasn't anything amazing. It wasn't like the past three times we've come here where we've just had these epic scores. I was a little bit disappointed about the picture frame um, when I got to the checkout and it was cracked. That was a little bit of a bummer because that was amazing. But now I know that that is a brand to be on the lookout for. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I didn't have a chance to mention in the video, make sure that if you're interested in anything that Dagny had in the video, you can go find her link to her eBay down in the description on shop with our friends. And as always, my eBay is linked down in the description as well. And um, I guess we will see you all tomorrow. Later.